January 1, Thursday Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke The Visit of the Shepherds The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. On New Year's Day, the atmosphere is filled not just with the sounds and sights of merriment, especially on New Year's Eve, but also with the polyphony of wishes for the year that begins. What do people desire for today? In all probability, they wish for success, prosperity, health of body and mind, and happiness. In declaring the first day of the year as the World Day of Peace, the Church reminds us of the fundamental need of human beings. Peace. We need peace more than other things. This, however, is not the peace that human beings establish, coming from the goodwill and intention to live in peace with one another. If it stands only on human efforts, peace is fragile. On the other hand, peace may not be one that is imposed by a superior power. If it is, it is not peace responding to our aspirations, but peace dictated from above. The peace that we pray for on New Year's Day is the peace of God, given to human beings at the birth of the Savior and first announced by the angelic choir to the shepherds of Bethlehem. This is peace on earth from the good will of God, and since it has God for its source, it is peace that does not disappoint. Moreover, it is offered to everyone, not just to those people of good will. Peace is God's gracious gift, not some kind of reward for our human efforts. The peace of God is not facile. It is the peace of the Messiah who became a sign of contradiction. This contradiction led Jesus to the cross and caused the heart of Mary to be pierced by a sword. But the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus are really the cause of this peace and established Him as peace itself. St. Paul explains how Jesus became our peace. For He is our peace, He who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity. The second grace the Church asks for God's people is the maternal protection of Mary, the Mother of God. The first terms of endearment we experience in this world come from our mothers. On the spiritual level, this should also hold. We need the loving gaze of Mary, first directed to Jesus, as we read in the Gospel. Today's solemnity honors Mary as Theotokos, Mother of God, to emphasize that Jesus whom she bore in her womb and to whom she gave her very humanity is both Lord and God, equal to the Father and the Holy Spirit in power and glory. But Jesus has entrusted us to her from the cross where she became the mother of all believers. Our concerns become hers too, as we read in John. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home.